What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a brand new extension from the guys over at Mindsight Studios for beveling objects in SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so bevel is a brand new extension specifically designed to help you round and bevel edges inside of SketchUp. I do wanna note that they're currently running a 20% off early adopter discount and that this one has a permanent license that you can purchase down below. I'll link to all of this in the notes down below this video. So one other thing to note is if you wanna give it a try, you can download the 15 day free trial from this page. And again, I'll link to all of this in the notes down below. All right, so there's a couple, couple different functions of the bevel tool that you can access using the buttons up here. So um, first off, you've got options in here to do both a bevel of individual edges and objects, or you can also use this on a selected group or component. And we're gonna focus first on this first tool. And the way that it works is you can click on it, and then once you click on it, it's gonna pop up this little icon, and you can mouse over different edges in order to select them. And so notice how, for example, if I was to single click on this edge, it's now selected. Well, now I can click and drag in order to set the bevel like this. So notice I can click and drag like this, or you can also type in a value, right? So if I click on this edge, single click, and then I type in something like six inches and hit the enter key, it's gonna give me a six inch bevel right here. All right, and so when you activate this tool, um, in addition to being able to select an individual edge, you can also either mouse over a face like this in order to select all of the edges associated with that face. So again, so I can kind of click and drag this in order to bevel all of those. You can also mouse over a vertex, and that's gonna get you all of the edges that are over the vertex right here. And then notice how I can click and drag this in order to create this bevel. And notice how it's doing kind of a smart bevel in here to try to align with this curve that's over here. So you can probably see it a little bit better if we have the hidden geometry in here. Um, note that your geometry can get a little bit funky when you've got bevels going into odd bevels like this one, but you can definitely use this tool in order to do that. So you can also pre-select edges by coming in here and doing like a shift click like this. And then you can activate the tool and click and drag. And notice how it's going to bevel all of those edges that you had selected in here. See, so you can also activate multiple edges by coming in here and clicking on one like this and then holding the shift key or the control key and then clicking on additional edges like this. So notice how when I do this, right? Now, if I click and drag in here, this is going to be bevel all of those edges off like this. So you can also adjust the number of segments that are created in here, either by going ahead and typing in a value, right? So if I type in a value of one, and so if I was to click now and then drag, notice what that's gonna do is that's gonna give me like a 45 degree like chamfer, chamfer, chamfer um, across this edge. So you can use this to do like singular edges like this as well. So you can also do this after you've selected an edge. So notice how down in the lower right hand corner, it gives me the option to set an offset and a number of segments. So if I was to type in like six comma four, what that's gonna do is it's gonna give me a six inch offset and it's gonna do four different segments in here like this. And then note that you can come in here and you can double click on an edge like this and it's going to repeat what you've done here before. So notice how this repeated that exact same um, that exact same bevel that we had done up here. And so note that this is going to work not only for inside corners, but also for outside corners. So if I select all of these corners, for example, and then use this to bevel that off, notice how it bevels them both, whether they're external or internal. Um, one other thing that you can do with this is you can also toggle over an edge and you can tap the Alt key in order to select something or do a path select. So it's gonna extend that selection um, along kind of connected edges. So you could also do a Control Alt and then click over these in order to quickly add them to your selection. So notice I can do a Control Alt right here and it's picking up these paths that are in here. So you can use that to do a quick path select. Then you can bevel off these edges as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and hide my hidden geometry. And you can see how this whole thing looks when you do this. All right, so we've also got another tool in here which is called the Live Bevel. And what the Live Bevel does is it adds a bevel to a selected group or component. It's a little bit like a bevel modifier that you might have over in Blender. But basically the way that it works is you can just select the object, you can click on the Live Bevel button, 
right here, and you can actually adjust number of segments and the size, and it's gonna apply it to this whole object. So let's say that I was to set this to like 12 inches, which is a pretty heavy bevel um, in here. Maybe we'll drop this down to like six inches, but you can adjust the number of segments in here live using this tool. But then if you make changes to this, so let's say I was to come over here into my viewport and I was to bevel this off, right? So, and I'm actually going in here and adjusting and push pulling this object. But what that's gonna do is that's gonna remove all of that. Well, notice how it's like live applying that to my surface, right? So if I was to do the same thing over here, and this is kind of like the example they have on their website, but let's say that I was to take this whole thing, I'm gonna push pull this up, like this. I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the size of this bevel because notice how I'm getting some overlaps in here. So maybe we'll bring this down to like three inches or something like that. But notice how that bevel is being applied live to this object. So it's non-destructive, which is really cool. Um, that means if I was to click back off of this object, right? And then take a look at it and then click back in here, I can reactivate this tool and keep working with this. And I could either finalize this by clicking on the commit button or if I undo this, I could also remove all of the bevels. And notice how when I remove all of the bevels, this just takes this whole thing and it just puts it back to the geometry that we had created. So it's kind of a true non-destructive bevel in here, which is pretty cool. So we can do the same thing with like a cylinder. Go ahead and group this, bevel it off. But then if I was to come in here and do like a offset, and I was to push pull it down, notice how that offset is going to get applied to this right here as well. So again, it's giving us kind of this like live bevel result in here um, that we can come in here and we can change and adjust if we want to. And so notice how you can toggle between seeing the bevel, seeing the proxy, which is basically the low poly piece that we have in here. So if you wanted to come in here and make changes, sometimes it's easier to just toggle it to the proxy. Then you can toggle it back to both and you can actually see what this looks like in here. So we can use this to do some truly non-destructive beveling inside of our SketchUp models. All right, and then there's also a tool in here for cleaning up your different edges called the Auto Soften and Smooth Edges tool. And what that'll do is that'll allow you to select an object, you can click on it, and it's gonna automatically soften and smooth your edges, specifically along your bevels, right? So if I turn my hidden geometry off, notice how that softens and smooths this face. Now what you can do is you can come in here, we'll go ahead and undo this, you can go into your settings, and you can adjust the angle at which this will do this. So um, you wanna kinda keep this uh, below 45. If you type in something like 90 and then do that, it's going to soften and smooth all of these edges that are at a 90 degree angle, which is not what you want. Um, so, I mean, I guess unless you wanted your faces to look like this, which I generally don't, um, but you can get some kinda like fine control over that by going into your settings. Usually I'm kinda leaving this at a default of 45 and leaving these on, but you can use that in order to quickly soften those edges. And so sometimes you can get some kind of like nasty geometry on a surface for whatever reason. And that means that coming through here, I mean, you could come in here and bevel this um, and you could do like the alt path select or whatever. But if you wanted to take this geometry and kind of clean it up, there's a tool in here that's gonna allow you to do that. So I can select all of this. And basically what this tool, this clean edges tool is going to do is it's going to remove coplanar and split edges. So when it does that, notice how it takes all of those edges and it gets rid of the ones that are kind of like splitting up that face. Well, now I could come in here and I could do this bevel over this edge. Whoops. There we go. Like this. And it's going to give me that nice clean geometry. So you can use that cleanup tool in order to quickly get rid of those extra edges in here um, for easier beveling. All right, so overall, I think this is a great tool. Um, I especially like the non-destructive version of the beveling. Um, I think being able to make changes to that base geometry and have the bevels be applied to it is really cool. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I will link to this tool on this page. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.